So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone is telling you that you are unable to purchase applications. Now, this is a very, very basic way to, you know, basic thing to kind of fix, and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over and make sure that that application that you're buying is actually fully functioning, but also you want to make sure that your credit card information is up to date. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application just like so. You want to go and click onto your profile icon that's at the top. So tap right into the top there. And what you want to do where it says payment and shipping, you want to tap into payment and shipping. And all you're going to want to do here is you just want to make sure that your payment method, your shipping, you know, whatever your address, but payment, your all your payment stuff is basically working. If that is not working or if it's not up to date or if it's, you know, wrong information, that is basically going to be the first way to go and fix this problem. So double check that that particular information is right. You want to make sure all your credit card, bank account, all that stuff is basically situated right. And that's the first thing. Now, on top of that, under media and purchases, which is right here, you may just want to go ahead and view your account. You may just want to make sure you don't have any issues within your account either. Sometimes if you do, there might be a thing that can kind of break down for you exactly what the issues are. Now, that doesn't seem to be having any issues or problems either. Another thing you can try doing is to go through and try seeing if you can update your particular iPhone. So if you don't have any debt against Apple or anything like that, you can just go through, make your way over to your settings app like this, click into general, which is right here, click into software update, and all you're going to want to do is update your particular phone. By updating it, that can probably ease out a lot of things in the back end too, and that can hopefully end up fixing a lot of the issues that you may end up having here as well. Now, if you do that, that's still not working. You can try restarting your phone, connecting to a different Wi-Fi connection, but those are kind of the main ways to go and fix the problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.